Okay, so today I'll be showing you guys how to do object manipulation in Sony Vegas. But first, I just want to say that I try to post weekly editing tutorials. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. But yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is mask out the object that you want to move. So just make a new layer and then copy the clip and just go here and you just want to put down points and if you want to make it rounded you just need to click on the point like this Then select the mask and change the feather type to in and then put the feather to about 0 0.1 and rem remember to enable the mask. But now if we try to move this you can see that there's another ball underneath it. So we need to cover that up, just make a new layer again, copy this and you want to find a place where the texture is similar to what would be behind the object. In this case it's somewhere around here on his shirt, I'll just use this. And you can put the feather a bit higher on this one, put it to 0 0.5. Then just move this above the object. Doesn't cover the whole object so I need to just copy it. Then move the second one. Now we can see that it's covering his hand also. So we need to adjust the mask. I also need to make it a bit bigger this can take a pretty long time depending on your background But just be patient and it'll look good. Something like that. And now we can animate the object. Right now you can see that the ball is floating a bit, so I'll need to move it down. Then just search for Warp Transform. You can also use 3D Cam for this. Then you can animate the shift x, y, rotate, 
swivel and tilt. You don't have to do it the same way that I do it, but you can. So just go forward six frames and then change the position. Then go here to the first keyframe and go forward two frames. Then go here and click on add keyframe. And make sure that the whole warp transform is selected. Then make all of these slow fades. And the middle ones fast fades. Then you wanna move the ones with the fast fade to your marker. And these to the end. And then go four frames back from your marker. And put these over here. I'll just pre-render it so we can see what that looks like. So something like this. Then you can also add motion blur to make it look a bit better. But yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. See you.